A tousled dog left to die, now an essential part of an Oklahoma family. Here you go. Meet Brutus. He's a therapy dog credited with saving this little boy's life. Fox 23 Sarah Whaley met with the rescuers and learned just what happened. The neighbor living in this house behind me told me that he found Brutus almost three years ago. He was behind this fence across the street here, scared and alone. Quite the opposite set of what he is today. He was real growly and barky and scared. You just see it in his face. That was in February 2014. Now, <laughs> Brutus is full of life. Everybody knows Brutus. Recently, I organized a meeting for all of the people who gave Brutus a second chance. Oh my God, it's so wonderful to see him again. James Chris John lives near 11th and Lewis. He's the neighbor who noticed Brutus was alone and who called Unchained Oklahoma. The house was open. Uh, dog food had been uh, left on the floor. A lot of personal items were still there. Melody Parkins is with that rescue organization. She says she later learned Brutus's owner had moved after her husband was arrested on drug complaints. Stop. Leaving Brutus behind. Melody and her husband Kent took a special liking to Brutus and they started socializing him. He's always listened to commands immediately. I mean, he's always has. They worked with him several hours a day for a year and a half. At about six months, we, we had that feeling that it's always got something special. Everybody who came in contact with this big guy knew he was special, but they say for some reason nobody was adopting him. Yeah. That reason turned out to be two-year-old Jason. An actual meant to be together. Jason's family adopted Brutus about 10 months ago. His first week in the home. One night we were just all sleeping and he had hit me in the face and was trying to wake me up. Amber Bragg says Brutus then took her to little Jason. Whenever I looked over at the baby, my baby was convulsing and having a seizure. Jason has a seizure disorder. And Bragg says after that experience, she learned that Brutus senses when one is about to hit. Four weeks ago, he had a Another seizure. Brutus went into the bedroom, grabbed him by his shirt collar, pulled him up, and started barking until we got there to him. All of this without any specialized training. I feel like he's in better hands with that pit than he is with our anybody. I mean, if it wasn't for that dog, he may not he may not be running and playing like he is now. In Midtown, covering news that matters. Sarah Whaley. Fox 23 News. And the Bragg family does say that they did go ahead and get Brutus certified as a therapy dog. He will soon start work in nursing homes where they live in southeastern Oklahoma.